I just want to show people that they aren't alone. That even when we are not where we want to be or where we think we should be, there is still so much joy that can be had. So much joy that can be experienced. My dad saw this once and he thought it said be king to yourself and now I kind of want to change it. There you go. Whatever that means. It's like the first nice day out, or it's the nicest day out so far of the year. 70 something degrees. Why am I inside? I was outside. Sometimes there's a lot of pressure to appreciate the nice weather and you can only appreciate something so much. Maybe I should go back outside though. I'm kind of tired. I think I need to take a nap. Chicago can be like that though. Any place that I think has a few months of summer, a few months of nice weather and sunshine, once it gets nice out, it's like you feel like everybody's out. Everybody's at the beach. Everybody's at brunch. Everybody's walking around. Everybody's getting some sun. So if you take a nap, what are you doing with your life? But it's a Sunday and I'm tired. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't know why he was barking. Calm down. And then I see his ball is stuck at the corner of the You don't have to scream though. You really don't have to scream. I will get it for you. Do you need it that badly? Hmm? Did you need that ball that badly? Okay, I'm back outside. Let's appreciate the weather together. I'm absorbing it. I'm hearing the birds. Okay, I'm gonna go back inside. reading comments on my last video. I don't want people to feel discouraged. So please don't feel discouraged. That wasn't supposed to be a woe is me video. That was just supposed to be like ripping off the band-aid. The reason I wanted to share that side of me or I wanted to share the truth is because it, not being honest and feeling like it was something that I'm hiding and by something that I'm hiding, I'm talking about just like being a 33 year old living with their parents who, you know, who's, who's just kind of had odd jobs, artist life, and now it's like, whoa, 
Lots of other people are doing different things, buying houses, getting married, having kids, their careers or whatever. My point is by feeling like I was living in a way that I had to hide or I couldn't be 100% honest, that was stealing my joy. And I think there's so much joy to be had in the lifestyle that a lot of us are living. Maybe we're still figuring stuff out, but don't let it suck up your joy. You're wasting years. Anyway, I got a lot of feedback because I think a lot of people relate. I don't feel like this is great lighting to be filming in, but I also feel like why not? Trying to be real. I think people relate to feeling lost, to not fitting a norm, to running out of time. So let's not, let's not go into the negative energy, okay? Let's not be down on ourselves. I think good things can happen now. I think we got ourselves started on something. Let's focus on being here for each other and knowing that we are cool. Is this gonna work? I don't think so. So I have one video left before I finish what I originally set out to do, which was make one vlog for each letter of the alphabet. It's been, I don't know, what have I offered? Slice of life, encouragement, kind of the mundane through a retro romanticized DB lens. If I keep going, I would hope that it might be just some sort of relatable journey into independence. If you want some inspiration, if you want to follow me as I figure my life out. You want to hear something funny? I never fit in as a kid or a teenager or in my 20s, but now I'm a 30 something millennial and we're all exactly the same. I'm working on material. That was supposed to be a joke. Okay, move on. See what I mean about Chicago summers? It just got nice out and then there, next thing you know, there's someone kayaking in front of you and you question why you're not in a kayak. Why am I not in a kayak right now? Gosh. Wanted to get my outfit on camera. Oh my God. We just got back from rehearsing a song because we're actually gonna play a show. We rehearsed with our friend Chris from Doloroso. Their band has actually been in this vlog before if you watch a few episodes back. How you feeling, Schaefer? It is 60 something degrees in Chicago. Feels good. This is my brother. Feels nice. And co-band <laughs> member. <laughs> what the heck? I love it out here. Schaefer and his guitar. This is my guitar. <laughs> I love my guitar. Schaefer loves his guitar. It's mine. Youth, 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 as in rhymes with tooth, like the teeth in your mouth. The definition of youth is the period between childhood and adult age. Interesting. For some of us who may feel like we haven't succeeded in getting our life together, maybe on the bright side, there's a wonderment that we have not lost. Maybe this is a stretch, but guess what? I'm finishing up this alphabet series 
and this video is supposed to be themed around the letter Y. So we're going with youth. So look at the bright side of feeling stuck. Maybe you aren't stuck in such a bad place. Keep that youthful spirit, that fresh start curiosity, and that bright-eyed hope. And keep going. Keep going. You know what I didn't do this time? A note to self. Let's do one of those. I don't have many left because I've gone through so many of them in this series. I have like four left. Number 13, if you're nervous or overthinking, let go and trust yourself to do the best you can because you will and that's all you can do. Typical note to self, but I haven't done a video where I haven't shared one, so gotta stick to it. Also, here's a thought, wasting time thinking that you're running out of time is wasting your youth. Don't waste all that youthful energy feeling down. Hold on to it and nurture it and bring it with you. I think it's too dark in here to vlog. Here's a quote. You're probably like, hey, CQ, stop shoving quotes in our face. Well, guess what? This time it's one that isn't from a cartoon, okay? It's Rod Serling, creator of The Twilight Zone. Being like everybody is the same as being nobody. And here's another one, just to even it out from a cartoon this time. That's right. I guess every dork has his day. Gerald from Hey Arnold. We will all have our day. You'll get there. Just be patient.